Thank you so much for joining today with Marilyn and Sarah. We're glad to have you with us. And I know that many of you watching, you have needs in your life. You have financial struggles. Some of you watching right now, you're having some really difficult emotional things that you're working through. And I know this, that nothing is impossible for God. In Luke 1, 37, it says, nothing is impossible. And so we would love to pray for you. And I would encourage you to hop on the phone or get on the website. It's a great opportunity for us to join our faith with yours to see God do the impossible in your life. And you may be watching thinking, I don't know, man, this just seems like too much. And I think if we're not careful, sometimes we, we rank things. Well, you know, a headache's kind of small, but man, cancer's a really big thing. But with God, it's not graded like that. With God, all things are possible. And so I just encourage you, let's give God the opportunity to participate in our lives by asking for prayer. Hop on the phone, get on the website, and let's let God say, okay, I want to have an opportunity at these impossibilities. And mom, in my mind, for us, we have impossibilities, but God has opportunities. Exactly. Yeah. It's an opportunity for a miracle, and it's not whether you deserve it. I think sometimes when you're sick, you think, well, you know, I didn't eat right, I didn't do this right, I've been doing all these wrong things, and really, you know, I'm just not a perfect Christian. But He heals you because of His compassion. He saves you because of His compassion. And so I want you to keep that in mind. I don't receive healing because I deserve it. I receive healing because it is a gift. I receive forgiveness because He stood in my place and took my sins, and so I have a new identity. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So He took my sins, gave me His righteousness. Keep that in mind, because I believe God has a miracle with your name on it today. And as you watch, just reach out and say, Jesus, I need healing, and this you have provided for me in the atonement. It's a gift for me. It's not what I deserve. It's what you have given me because you love me and have compassion. Don't forget, today is your day for a miracle. You say, well, I, I just can't believe for that. Honey, I'll have faith for you. <laughs> Call us, we're gonna pray and believe for you. I will never forget this. I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, and praying for the sick in a service like this, and a man had been shot in his shoulder. And so he had a hole in this bone. So he could not raise his hand without pain. Well, he just really couldn't raise his hand well. So he stood up. I felt led to pray for people with shoulders and problems. And he stood up. And he didn't experience anything that night. But he believed he received. So the next morning he got up. And uh, he went in to shave. He had his pajama top off. And he was shaving, you know, with the left hand. And he looked and... There was no hole in the bone in the shoulder. He could raise his hand. That's a creative miracle. I'm telling you, his presence is here because he loves us to give us creative miracles. Everybody say, the compassion of Jesus creates. Agape love creates. Amen. So let's look at another one. Let's look at a leper. Now, when you look at a leper, they were considered unclean. They were the untouchables. You never touched them. No way, no way. But Jesus was moved with compassion. And he stretched out his hand, and what did he do? He touched him. And he said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. Because he asked him, if you're willing, cleanse me. And said, Jesus had compassion. When we say, Jesus, are you willing? He says, I'm willing, because he has compassion for us. And so I just encourage you, maybe you have a chronic thing because leprosy was considered chronic. You'd never get over it. They had them live in a separate place and so on. And maybe they have told you, you have a chronic disease. If you have a chronic uh, condition of any kind, I want you to stand up. This is your night to get free. You can go back to your doctor and be a surprise. Stand up. They say it's chronic. Okay, that's good. We got everybody up? 
Everybody standing in faith? Everybody seated in faith? See, they told me I could never be active, that I had an enlarged heart at 23. I'm almost 82. Why? I have a new heart. I'm not a chronic. <laughs> I'm a miracle. You're not a chronic. You are a miracle. So I want everyone seated. I want your faith. And I know this church is rising in faith, rising in the miraculous. Okay, now extend your hand towards someone who's standing. Extend your hand. We're going to get a new report. We're going to get a report. They are no longer a chronic. Are you ready? Be a little wild. Say, I'm ready. Now pray with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over this chronic condition, and I speak to this body, and I say, be whole from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. In Jesus' name, you are not a chronic. You are a blessing. You are a miracle, a walking miracle because of the compassion of Jesus. He has touched you June 5th and made you whole. Amen. Amen. Expect the miraculous. It is so wonderful. Let's look at what else. Jesus had compassion for the chronics, but he also had compassion for the demon possessed. And I didn't put all of this in, but in Mark 5, 19, it tells us that a demon, de Jesus encountered a terrible demon-possessed person. And he didn't run from that. The Bible said that he had compassion for him. So I think sometimes people with demonic activity going on, you know, they, ooh, they feel like they're kind of untouchable, that the devil's bigger than God. And that can be a real bad thing because when you begin to look at symptoms and how Satan is doing things, you can have a big devil and little God. But we don't have a little God. We have a big God and what? A little devil. So someone called me last night. This was very interesting because I knew I was going to preach on this tonight. But I just love the way the Holy Spirit makes things flow together. And so they were going to a home, not here in Denver, in Ohio, and they said, we're going to a home where demons have really infested the place. Voices speak. They see lights at strange times and all of this stuff and said, uh, we're going into that home to take authority over it. Said they were even embarrassed to tell us. They said, but we've tried, but we just haven't had success. Would you come? Well, of course, they went. They were successful because the word is successful because you have authority over the devil. Luke 10, 19 says, I give you power. Stand up. You knew this was coming. It says, behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Why? Why does he free us from demonic power? Because he loves us. The devil doesn't love you. The devil wants to kill you. But Jesus loves you. And his love is greater than the devil's power. That's right. Now, put your hand on your heart again. Say, I, how could I forget that his love for me is greater than the power of the devil? Now, look at your feet. Say, God said to me, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. I thank you, Father. Demons, evil spirits are under my feet. I have the name of Jesus, and I use that name. I'm not afraid of the devil, but the devil's afraid of the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And he has compassion on us. You can be seated. Now, I'm going to pray a little more for this. But, you know, some time ago uh, in our church, we had a film 
on demon activity. And it showed about how these young people uh, didn't believe in Jesus and how the devil really went after them and manifested demonic things to them. But a group of people were praying for them. And uh, it looked like the devil was going to kill one of them, but he surrendered his life to Christ and got totally delivered. Now that night at the end of the film, Wally had an altar call for people. And so people came forward to be saved, but one woman began to scream and carry on and beat her head on the floor and uh, just, you know, really a demonic attack. And so our people, we had wonderful people gathered around her and began to pray, cast out the devil, you know, uh, speaking to the spirits and so on. And nothing was happening. She just kept beating her head on the floor. And so I said to the Lord, Lord, help me, give me a word. And he said, tell her to tell the devil to leave. And so, you know, everybody's screaming around her, but I got right up in her ear and I said, you say, Satan, leave in Jesus' name. She said, I can't. And I got really ugly. No, just forceful. I don't know how to be ugly. I said, say it in Jesus' name. Get away from me, devil. So she finally did. And she screamed it. And all of the demonic activity stopped. <coughs> and then she said to me, you know, every time I go to church, I have a demonic attack. <coughs> and she said, excuse me, just a minute. She said, I'm a Christian. <coughs> she had gotten saved several months before. But she said, these demons come against me in church. But she said, I didn't know I had authority. <coughs> and that was the end of that. She did not have those demonic attacks again. Do you have authority? Many people live with sickness and oppression on a daily basis. The power in Jesus' name will heal bodies, minds, marriages, homes, and finances. And this power is available to you today. For a gift of $30 or more, you will be blessed with three amazing resources that will teach you how to experience healing through the power of the Word. There is no question that our Lord expects His people to live in the realm of the supernatural. Broken Be Made Whole is a life-changing study guide containing 13 powerful topic-driven chapters, scripture references, and reflection questions on healing that will guide you on your path to physical and spiritual health. We will also send you Maryland CD, Total Healing, which offers tips to living in divine health and bringing healing to others and will include Marilyn and Sarah's latest book, 30 Meditations on Healing. Explore the power of the scriptures and learn how to effectively apply them to your life. As a bonus, you'll receive Marilyn's free booklet, God's Benefit, Healing. Miracles are available for you. Call or click today. Phnom Penh. Cambodia has an extremely prominent sex industry. Sex workers have few options for their babies while they work at night. Most babies are left alone in dangerous and devastating conditions. Night care, the first of its kind, is a safe haven for these babies. Here is where babies are happy, protected, fed, and cared for nightly. Will you help the least of these? Night Care from Saving Moses. How many of you feel like you're having some demonic troubles? Don't be embarrassed. Stand up. I'm sure every Christian has had them. Stand up. You feel there's just some demonic activity. <coughs> Probably we could all stand up. But anyway, everyone seated. St I want you to extend your hand. Look around you. Come on. Let's have the compassion of Jesus. If this were you, you would want to be well. Okay, pray with me. Say, Father... In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every demonic spirit 
that would attack these people. I say, be free in Jesus' name. Devil, there is a bloodline around every one of these. The blood conquers you, overpowers you. You are overpowered. Don't come back in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We do not have to be under demonic attacks. And you can tell sometimes, and you'll have a whole bunch of things happen at the same time. That's the devil. Take authority. Don't just blink your eyes and say, well, bad things happened to me. Take authority. Put your fist up. Say, take authority. <laughs> okay. Now, how wonderful that man was free. Wanted to follow Jesus and go with him, and Jesus said, no, go home and tell your friends. And then I looked at this when Jesus raised the dead. Now, I believe in raising the dead. I haven't done it yet, but I believe I will. You know, and I've prayed for dead people, and nothing happened. They just stayed dead. <laughs> but, you know, I read about people raising the dead. I have friends who tell me they raised the dead. Somebody told me the other night on the phone they have raised seven dead people. And I thought, oh, God, my day is coming. But God has compassion on the person who's alive because of the death of the person. Now look at this. When the Lord saw her, the widow, he had compassion her, on her and said, do not weep. And of course, he raised her son from the dead. Now, why did he have compassion on her? It, he didn't have compassion on the dead. Evidently, the dead was in heaven. Everything is great. But he had compassion on her because she needed this son to take care of her. She was a widow. Women didn't work and have a living. She would become a beggar. And he had compassion. Now, another thing I have seen about raising the dead, in the New Testament in particular, well, somewhat in the Old, it's usually young people who are raised from the dead. So, you know, I think it's important that we read the scriptures about how many were raised from the dead and an approximate age of them. Because you try to raise from the dead somebody who's 90, I, I don't know that I have much faith for that. Maybe they want to go home. Maybe Jesus wants them to come home. Maybe at 90, they don't want to live to 100. Do you know what I'm saying? Focus your faith. Everybody say, focus your faith. And I think having compassion on the people that are left, he had compassion on the woman and called him back. Tremendous resurrection, but it came out of what? Compassion. And compassion is so important. Now, I'm going to read you a testimony, <clears throat> and hang tight with me, because sometimes these take, you know, a few minutes. So don't, don't lose your focus, because you could lose your miracle if you don't stay focused on Jesus and on faith. And this is from Demas Chikarian, who started Full Gospel Businessman. He said, I found Dr. Price's ministry different. My sister Florence had a collision with a truck carrying hot asphalt. She received third-degree burns. Her pelvis suffered seven fractures, and her leg was torn loose. When reset, it was three and a half inches shorter. She was compelled to lie in a bed of salve. Because her burns were so severe, she could not stand the touch of bed clothing. X-rays showed that the sharp points of broken bones were headed into vital organs. Subsequent X-rays showed her condition growing worse. If she lived, if she lived, she would be a cripple. In desperation, I called Dr. Price. Now, this is Dr. Charles Price. Probably most of you have never heard of him. He was, I didn't know of him in my day. Uh, he was a Presbyterian. I believe he was a doctor, a medical doctor, who got born again, wonderfully born again, and spirit-filled, and really had compassion for the sick. So he called Dr. Price. He agreed to come. The seventh day after her accident, Dr. Price reached her. As he prayed for her, 
God laid his mighty hand upon her body and completely healed her to the amazement of doctors and nurses. New x-rays were taken. Every bone had gone back into place, and the leg was restored to its normal leg. I know this woman. She's passed away now. I know Florence. I used to see her playing the organ in a lot of the meetings. A miracle. And see, folks, undoubtedly, it's the compassion of Jesus that makes whole. You know, we really believe when we come to him and find him as our Savior that he makes us whole inside. Why can't we believe that he wants us whole outside? Right? Spirit, soul, and body. So I wanted to read that to you, and then I want to read this scripture, and we're going to pray some more. <clears throat> I love this in Lamentations, and at the end of the service, we'll sing it. But Lamentations 3.22 says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassions, everybody say compassion. Co say it again. Compassion. Say it again. Compassion. Do you get compassion because you're such a hot shot? No, you get compassion because he what? Loves you. His compassions fail not. Now, it says, morning by morning, new mercies, new compassions I see. I like this service. I like being here with you. I like teaching the word. I like seeing God heal people. I like seeing your compassion for people. But folks, I got some more in the morning. Amen? Amen. Say, I have more coming because of his compassion. When you get up in the morning, don't say, oh, brother, I hope it doesn't rain today. You know, we need the rain. That isn't a good thing to say. You say, I hope it's warmer today. Get up in the morning and say, well, I have some new compassions coming. I wonder what wonderful compassions are coming my way today. Not because you're good, because you're righteous. You're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now tonight, I know we have some people here, and I see my brother over here in a wheelchair, and I'm sure there are others who have problems with bones, maybe back problems in particular, and I would like for you to stand up. Well, you don't have to stand up, but I mean, if you have back problems or something, okay, just stand up. Okay, now... How many of you believe the love of Jesus is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit? How many of you believe you have compassion? Do you want people to be healed? Do you? Do you believe the compassion of Jesus can flow out of you and to others? Many people live with sickness and oppression on a daily basis. The power in Jesus' name will heal bodies, minds, marriages, homes, and finances, and this power is available to you today. For a gift of $30 or more, you will be blessed with three amazing resources that will teach you how to experience healing through the power of the Word. There is no question that our Lord expects His people to live in the realm of the supernatural. Broken Be Made Whole is a life-changing study guide containing 13 powerful topic-driven chapters, scripture references, and reflection questions on healing that will guide you on your path to physical and spiritual health. We will also send you Maryland CD, Total Healing, which offers tips to living in divine health and bringing healing to others and will include Marilyn and Sarah's latest book, 30 Meditations on Healing. Explore the power of the scriptures and learn how to effectively apply them to your life. As a bonus, you'll receive Marilyn's free booklet, God's Benefit, Healing. Miracles are available for you. Call or click today. We are so excited to invite you to join with us on an amazing, powerful group trip to Argentina and Uruguay. While we're there, we get to see all kinds of amazing things. We get to visit Colonia and Uruguay, plus we get to tour the burial site of Vita Perón and tour around Buenos Aires and see amazing sights there. And Mom, the best part of the whole trip is that we get to minister. Yes, we do. And we get to minister in a hot situation because revival began there 60 years ago and the whole nation is being shaken. So we will be involved in healing meetings, in youth meetings, in street evangelism, and Uruguay, we believe we're going to have a big healing meeting there. Also, hmm, how wonderful, and we will be in this beautiful city founded in 1680. 
talk. Bring people with you. Let the Holy Spirit shake you and use you. I have something in my hand that I want to get into your hand. What is this? Broken, be made whole. You know, brokenness in us makes room for God. And listen what you're going to receive. You're going to see in chapter one, there are different types of healing. There's healing for the broken heart. What else? That faith really does work. What else? How do you keep your healing? How do you not let go? What about demons? Are they involved in sickness and disease and broken hearts? Well, you will see when you receive this. I think this is probably one of the greatest wisdom books for being made whole you will ever receive. So be sure you get it and use it and what else? Pass it on. You know, books work while you sleep. They are missionaries. Let this one be a missionary for you. Many people live with sickness and oppression on a daily basis. The power in Jesus' name will heal bodies, minds, marriages, homes, and finances. And this power is available to you today. For a gift of $30 or more, you will be blessed with three amazing resources that will teach you how to experience healing through the power of the Word. There is no question that our Lord expects His people to live in the realm of the supernatural. Broken Be Made Whole is a life-changing study guide containing 13 powerful topic-driven chapters, scripture references, and reflection questions on healing that will guide you on your path to physical and spiritual health. We will also send you Maryland CD, Total Healing, which offers tips to living in divine health and bringing healing to others and will include Marilyn and Sarah's latest book, 30 Meditations on Healing. Explore the power of the scriptures and learn how to effectively apply them to your life. As a bonus, you'll receive Marilyn's free booklet, God's Benefit, Healing. Miracles are available for you. Call or click today. <laughs> 